kids, we are in week four of our series called Thankful Tree. I'm Pastor JL, and I just want to say I am so thankful for all of you. You know what? I'm thankful for people who help me. Do you have somebody who helps you? Maybe somebody helps you tie your shoes, or they help you put water in your cup, or they help you with something else, or maybe help you learn something new. And all of those people we can be thankful for because God is good. Who's good? God's good. That's right, and that's been our question all month long. Let's try it again. Who's good? God's good. That's right. Okay, remember our memory verse? Let's see, can you remember, can you remember? It is, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Psalm 107 verse one. Let's do it one more time. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Psalm 107 verse one. Okay, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I wanna thank you so much for my friends. Thank you God that you are so, so good. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, friends, time to stand to our feet and worship together. I just want to thank God for the way he made me. Everywhere I look, I see how much he loves me. I am so excited. I am so excited. And I just can't hide it. And I just can't hide it. Our true Bible story today begins with a wall. A very, very, very big wall. Like so big, you guys. Oh my goodness. And it went all the way around a city called Jerusalem. Can you say Jerusalem? Say Jerusalem. It's so big. The name is big and the city's big too. So there was a wall around the city to keep people safe. But here's the thing. The wall was super old, you guys. There were holes in it, and it no longer could keep people safe. Thankfully, there was a man named Nehemiah. Nehemiah! Oh, hi. Hello. Who is this? Have you guys seen him before? Who are you? Well, my name is Nehemiah. No, um, are you sure your name is Nehemiah? You're a lion. No, I'm not lying. My name is Nehemiah. No, I mean, you're, you're the animal, a lion. Like, you're not a 
person. You're not a man named Nehemiah. Like we're learning today about a man named Nehemiah. But your name's Nehemiah and you're a lion. Yes, that is correct. Cool, well my name's Pastor JL. Nice to meet you, high five. Okay, so do you wanna help me tell the story today about Nehemiah to our friends? Of course, I would love to. Great, okay, so my friend Nehemiah the lion's gonna help us today. So there was a man named Nehemiah. Do you know where he lived? Yes, he lived in Jerusalem. Yeah, he did. Okay, so he lived in Jerusalem, and then he heard about all these holes in the wall, and he knew that something had to happen. So, what happened? He was very sad. He was very sad. Let me see your sad faces. Let me see your sad face. That's as sad as you get? That's really? Oh, that's sad. That is so sad. Okay, Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall, so he decided, I shall fix it myself. Okay, but can you? You're only one person. Do you need more help? That's true, you need more help. So he said, I need help. And he decided to ask for help. So we're gonna ask for help on the count of three. Are you ready? We're gonna say help on three. One, two, three, help! That's right, he needed help. And so lots of people came to fix the wall. And did they fix all of the wall at one time? So what did they do? Well, they each fixed part of the wall at the same time. That's right, so they did fix the wall at the same time, but each of them fixed one part at a time. So people were assigned to one part. So that's pretty fun. So they all worked together to make sure that the wall was strong and, and safe. Yes, and there were lots of people. They worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked until one day they they what? They finished. That's right, until one day they finished. And then what did they do when they finished? Well, they celebrated. They celebrated. Did they dance? Yes. Did they eat food? Yes. Did they like give each other a high five? Yes. Wonderful. So they celebrated. They were so excited that they finished the wall. And they knew that God helped them do that. And Nehemiah was very thankful. Who was Nehemiah thankful for? Well, Nehemiah was very thankful for all the people God sent him to help. That's right, Nehemiah was thankful for all those people. And here's the thing, God gives us people in our lives because God is good. Hey, Nehemiah, who's good? God is good. That's right. Okay, I'll see you later, Nehemiah. Oh, wait, Pastor J.O. Yes. Can I pray for the kids? Of course you can. All right, close your eyes, bow your heads, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the people who help us. So many people help Nehemiah build the wall and lots of people help us each day too. We know you give us people to help us because you are always good. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Nehemiah, thank you so much. All right, we'll see you later. Of course. All right, that is so fun. And you know what, boys and girls, we wanna hear from you. So comment on this video, or you can send us an email at hvkids at highervisionchurch.com and make sure to join us on our Zoom call. Now remember, we've switched over to a monthly Zoom call the first Sunday of each month. So join us December the 6th, and your Zoom call starts at 2.30 in the afternoon. I hope to see you on there. And remember guys, every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. And stay tuned for our friend, Ollie the Owl at the Wonder Clubhouse. All right, bye guys. Ho, ho. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story. I'm Kai. I was just writing thanks on this card for my neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue. She is always helping me and my family. 
Last week, she brought over this delicious spaghetti dinner. That spaghetti was so good. It was very nice of Miss Kathy Sue to help us, so I thought I'd make her a card. I just remembered somebody else who helped me last week. Mr. Luis, the handyman, helped fix my soccer goal so we could keep playing. That was very nice of him. I want to write him a thank you card too. Oh, and then there's Mr. Jimmy down the street. I fell off my bike right in front of Mr. Jimmy's house. He came out, gave me a band-aid, and helped me get home. I really want to write him a thank you card. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Working hard today, are you? I am. I'm making thank you cards for all the people in my neighborhood who helped me. Neighbors can be super helpful. It's true. I know of a man who had great neighbors, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Okay, Stormy Jane, this is a really big stick. It's really heavy. Do you think you can get it? Okay, go fetch. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie and today I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. Can you get it, Stormy? Is it too heavy? Oh, your friend Pepe is helping you. Thank you, Pepe. It's good when friends help, especially when you have a big job and you can't do it on your own. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you guys want to hear a story? <laughs> okay, great. This true story from the Bible begins with a city wall. That's right, a very big, big, big wall that went all around the city of Jerusalem. The wall was there to keep people safe. The wall had been there a long time and had started to get old. There were so many holes in it that it did not keep the people safe anymore. It needed to be fixed. This is Nehemiah. He used to live in Jerusalem. When Nehemiah heard the wall had holes in it, it made him very sad. Everyone show me your sad face. Yes, very sad, just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall, so he decided to fix it himself. But he was just one person and the wall was big, big, big. Nehemiah couldn't fix it all by himself. He needed help. On the count of three, everyone yell, help. Ready? One, two, three, help. Listen, do you hear anyone coming? <laughs> Yay, lots of people came to help fix the wall. They all got to work helping on different parts. These people fixed a gate. These people worked on a tower. And these people fixed this part of the wall. There were lots of people and everyone helped. The people worked and worked and worked until one day, the wall was finished. Everybody celebrate, hooray! <laughs> Nehemiah was thankful God had given him people to help him fix the city's wall. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. God gives us people to help. God is good. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Wow, what a great story. God gave Nehemiah people to help him finish the city wall. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. People help Nehemiah just like my neighbors helped me. I'm so thankful for them. I know. I can put my neighbors' names on leaves for the thankful tree.
I'm thankful for Miss Kathy Sue and Luis the Handyman and I have a lot of leaves, Dad. See you later. Bye!